In this video, you will learn how you can get the work reports from your employees every week on your WhatsApp automatically. So guys, if you are a manager or a team lead and you want to track the working of your employees, this automation is for you. And here you can see guys, this will be the flow of this automation. Here we are using scheduler feature of Pavli Connect in the trigger of the workflow of automation. And with the help of this, you can schedule the WhatsApp messages that you're going to get. And guys, you have created a Google form for your employees by which you are collecting the work reports. So guys, as you get the work reports, according to the schedule, the message will be delivered to your WhatsApp automatically on any given day of the week with the work report summary. Okay. And this is going to happen automatically. And we are going to set up this automation using Pabli connect, which is an automation tool. And we are going to set up this without any coding very easily. Let me show you how. So this is the landing page of Pavli Connect and we have pasted this link in the description as well. From here, you can set up your free Pavli Connect account by clicking on sign up free and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations. So you can just sign up right now and after that you have to sign in and reach the Pavli Connect product and you will reach the dashboard here like this. And guys, here you have to click on this create workflow button to set up the automation workflow. And here you can give a suitable name to this workflow as well. So let me give a name here. I'm giving the name here as weekly employee reports on WhatsApp. Okay, so after giving the name, just click on this create button. And you can see your workflow page started loading up here. And on this page, guys, you will see these two modules, the trigger and the action. So with the help of these two modules, you can set up any automation. So in the trigger, you have to connect that application in which the trigger event is going to occur. Trigger event is that event which is going to kickstart this workflow. So in our case, we are going to schedule the delivery of uh, uh, messages or weekly summaries on WhatsApp. And for that, we are going to use scheduler feature here. Here is scheduler, select scheduler. Okay. And here it is asking how often you want to run your workflow. So I want that every week. Here you can see we have this days of the week option, select days of the week. And here it is asking on which day you want to send the messages. So I'm going to select, let's say every Saturday you want to get the weekly summary reports. So I'm selecting Saturday here and you can uh, set the time as well. So I am setting the time as six like this. Okay. So you have to uh, put the time here in according to your time zone, my time zone, my accounts time zone is Asia Kolkata. Okay. Right now click on save and you can see the result. Uh, my workflow is scheduled to run on every Saturday at this time. In UTC, it is this and uh, here in IST or Asia Kolkata, right? So guys, this time is a six in the morning. And if you want to change it, uh, let's make it six in the evening. So let me select a time from this clock. And here you can see we have this 24 hours clock. So I'm selecting 18 here, which which is six only 18. Okay. Now let me click on save one more time. And now it is scheduled at evening, right? And here now what we want after scheduling, we want to collect the weekly reports from the Google form that we have created. So for that, we are going to use this action step. And from the section step, I'm going to search for Google forms. So guys, after scheduling these messages, I want to collect the data of the weekly reports from my employees. And for that, I have created this Google form. You can see, let me open the form for you. All right, this is the weekly report form I have created with Google forms. Here I'm asking the name of the employee, the WhatsApp number, the designation and email address and the weekly goals and the accomplishment of the week. Okay. And all these things. And I'm collecting the response of this form submission here in a spreadsheet that is attached with this form. And in this spreadsheet, the data will be collected like this. You can see here like this. Okay. So, uh, 
I want to fetch this data, this response of the Google form in my workflow, and then I'm going to send it to the manager or anyone else. Okay. So here we are going to connect this sheet, the spreadsheet here in this action step. So search for Google Sheets application here. Okay. And in the action event, select get rows. So it will retrieve the data from the sheet based on specified range. Select this, then click on connect. From here, select add new connection, then click on connect with Google Sheets. And from here, you have to se select that Google account by which you have created that sheet. And then you have to provide some additional access to your Google account that is completely safe. Just click on continue. And you can see the authorization is getting successful and we'll be connected with Google Sheets. You can see we are connected. And here it is asking to select your spreadsheets name. So, so my spreadsheets name is this weekly report forms responses. So I'm going to select this name from this list. You can search for it. Here it is selected. And here you can see the sheets name got automatically selected. We have only one sheet here and it got auto selected. And now, now it is asking for the range of data that you have in your spreadsheet. So to find the range, you just have to come to your spreadsheet and you have to select the data that you have received here from this column A, row number second, start selecting it and now start selecting the whole row like this. Okay, and here you can see this, this is the range we have a two colon J two, this means we have the data starting from column A row number two, and it is ending at column J row number two. Okay, so this is the range and let me put the range here. So this is the static range we have a two colon J two. But if we are receiving the responses from many employees, so the range should be dynamic. So I'm going to backspace this two here, the row index here. Okay. And I'm putting it like this. Okay. So you can read also in the instructions. If you want to put the dynamic range, you have to put it like this. So we are not specifying where the uh, data is going to end on which row and it's surely going to end on column J, but we, we do not know where it will reach and in the rows. So I've just put J here. Okay, now to get the data here, you have to click on save and send test request but button. But before this, remember to toggle this simple response button to off. Okay, why we are uh, switching it off, I'll tell you, just click on save and send test request. So when you toggle this button to off, you will get the response in this array format, you can see we got the data in this array format. Now guys, I'm going to use a feature of Pabli Connect, which is called iterator. And what iterator will do, iterator will segregate this data in row by row form. Okay. So it will fetch the data from this array for, uh, for the, of the first row first, then second row, then third row and so on. And it will make the workflow run row by row for each employee. Okay. Let me show you. Just click here on this plus icon and from this action step, search for this iterator and select it. And here you can see it is asking choose your array. So iterator uh, segregates the array in row by row form. So I'm going to select this array guys that I've received here as this response result. Okay. So you just have to click here and it will show you the previous step like this from here map the response result array like this and then click on save and send test request. And here you can see we got the data of the first employee of the first row like this. Okay. So every time the workflow is going to run the row is going to be updated one by one. Okay. So uh, we are done here. Next step is, uh, you can see we have received the data and I have asked these questions from my employees. I have asked the tasks assigned to them as the goal and the tasks they have completed in a week. Okay. So we are going to send two type of messages to the manager. One message is for uh, when the employee completed the target and another message is for when the employee doesn't complete the targets. Okay. Or lags behind the target. So I have created two messages for this, for these things. So for, uh, checking out if the employee completed the target or not, we are going to apply a, a feature here. Let me show you just click here on this plus icon. And from this action step, I'm going to search for number formatter 
and with the help of number formatter we are going to apply a mathematical operation in which I am going to subtract the weekly goal from this number from this accomplishments of the week number and we are going to see the difference so if the difference is zero this means the employee have completed the target but if the difference is positive that means the employee is lagging behind the target and if the difference is negative that means the employee have uh, overachieved okay so for that we are using number formatter in the action event I am going to select perform uh, math operation this option then click on connect okay and here it is asking for the numbers on which you want to perform the operation so I am going to select these labels I have received here the weekly goal label and the accomplishment label so to map these labels you just have to click here and it will show you the previous step in the drop down and from this iterator step map this uh, weekly goal then put a comma here and from this iterator again map the accomplishment label like this okay so here and now it is asking for the operation so I'm going to select the operation as subtract so here you can see the weekly goal was 22 and our employee has achieved 20 tasks completed 20 tasks so uh, it this person is lagging behind the target so I'm going to click on save and send test request and you will see a result like this it is showing the number as 2 and it is a positive result greater than 0 result okay this means the employee uh, has, is lagging behind the target okay so we have two conditions one condition is when the employee completed the target another condition when the employee lagging behind the target so for these two conditions I want to send two type of messages so first of all just click here on this plus icon and let's create two paths for the two conditions that we have and to create conditional paths we have router here so select router feature first and with the help of router we are going to create two routes for two conditions so let me rename these two routes here you just have to click on these three dots and click on rename so first condition is target completed click on update okay it is renamed similarly second route is for when target not complete okay so now click on set filter and action steps and here it is uh, showing us the filter so with the help of filter we are going to apply the condition so the our condition was when the target is completed so when the target got completed you will uh, see zero value here okay this means the difference between the goals and the task completed will be zero okay this means the uh, target is completed or another condition is uh, the employee can overachieve also he can do some extra work or overtime or advanced work also and in that case you will see a negative result because then the accomplishments will be greater than the task assigned okay so I'm going to apply this condition here using set filter and action steps and in this filter just click here you can see it is asking to select the label so here you can see it is showing us the previous steps so from this number formatter map the result label and make the filter type equals to and put the value here zero this is one condition of the target completion another condition is that when the result show you the negative result so I'm going to apply or condition here click on or condition and from the select label map the result label from number formatter and the result when the result is less than zero or negative result that means the employee has overachieved okay now click on save and send test request and you can see the condition is false it is showing condition is false because right now uh, the data we have is this the task assigned was 22 and the task completed was 20 and the result is positive that uh, so, so it is showing the uh, result here as false okay but when this condition meets true in real time the workflow is going to continue and send a message so to send a message to the manager just click here on this plus icon we are going to use whatsapp and we are going to connect whatsapp here and to get the access of whatsapp we are going to use whatsapp's cloud api platform so guys uh, to use cloud api here before uh, 
before using cloud api here you have to set up your cloud api that means you have to connect your number inside the cloud api platform and after that you can use the feature here and to do that we have created a separate video and i have pasted the link in the description you can watch that video and you can learn how to use the cloud api for your business okay or for your company right so you can watch that after that you just have to select whatsapp cloud api here like this okay and in the action event you have to select this send template message option then click on connect and here it is uh, showing these two options so if you're making the connection for the first time you have to select add new connection here you can give a name to this connection and here it is asking for the permanent access token of cloud api the phone number id and the business account id details so guys if you want to learn more about the cloud api you can learn from this here word you can click on this here text and you will reach the forum page of pabli and here you can see we have a video created on cloud api setup inside pabli connect then we have a video on how to generate the permanent access token of cloud api then we have written instructions along with screenshots also for connecting cloud api in trigger as well as in action okay so you can learn these things from here for now let me show you uh, these things from from my cloud api setup so here you can see i am under meta for developers i am under whatsapp's getting started page and here you can see we have this temporary token so first they gave you temporary access tokens and uh, these tokens expires in 24 hours so you need to generate a permanent one and if you want to know how to generate that you can watch the video from the description or you can watch the video from the forum page as well and you can generate it and after getting the token generated you have to paste the token here and similarly you will find the phone number id here like this you can see you have to copy this and paste it here and the whatsapp business account id is here you can see you can just copy it and paste it here okay and after pasting all these things you have to click on save and you will be connected with whatsapp cloud api and this connection that you made here will be saved in your account okay and after that if you want to make the connection again with cloud api in a different workflow or in the same workflow you can use your saved connections as I have already made many connections with cloud API setup so I can use my saved connections for that I just have to click here on this select existing connection option and here you can see the list of all the connections I have created so from this list you can select any uh, any connection of yours so let me select this one okay and here I am clicking on save and you can see we will be connected again okay so we are connected and here it is asking for the templates name so guys to send messages on whatsapp using cloud api you have to create message templates first so message templates are the pre-created message structures that you want to that you can use to send different kind of transactional messages to many people at once okay so let me show you the template i have created for this purpose for sending the weekly reports of my employees to the manager so this is the template let me show you so guys this is the template i have created named as weekly reports template and here you can see if i am going to use this template this is how the message is going to look like on whatsapp weekly report summary here i am going to mention the target if the target is achieved or not achieved employee's name employee email number of tasks and the task assigned and here you can see we have this one two three four and five and double curly braces these are the variable tags or the body fields of this message template so this means the body fields means you can change the values of body fields with every new message every time you are going to send the message okay and uh, if you want to know how to create such templates i have created a separate video on message template creation and i have pasted the link in the description you can watch that video and learn how to create message templates okay so after getting the template created you have to select the templates name here so name of my template is this you can see weekly reports okay so you have to select weekly reports from here and the language code and the template id will be auto populated no need to do anything here you have to enter the whatsapp number of that person to whom you want to send the message and you have to mention the number here in this format 
विद द कंट्री कोड एंड विदाउट एनी प्लस साइन सो नाइन वन इज फॉर इंडिया यू हैव टू एंटर योर कंट्री कोड ओके and here it is asking for the body fields so these body fields are nothing but these body fields okay so to get the data change automatically with every new message of the body fields you need to map the values of these body fields here inside your workflow and i am going to map the details i have received from my google forms actually okay so here uh, in this spreadsheet i have collected the data from the employee and i have collected the data here in my workflow and i have separated it with the help of iterator so from iterator step i am going to map the data so let us check the body fields first body field is for the employee name second is for the employee email third is for tasks completed fourth is for tasks assigned and five is for saying that the target is completed or not so let us do this first body field is for the employee's name i am mapping it from iterator like this second body field is for the email address third body field is for third body field is for the let me show you tasks completed okay so these are the tasks completed you can see fourth body field is for the tasks assigned and fifth body field is for saying if the target is completed or not so this step we have created is for the target completed condition so i'm just putting here completed okay all right guys so after mapping the body fields you can check your connection with whatsapp by clicking on save and send test request and a, a message will be delivered to this whatsapp number so guys i am going to put my whatsapp number here just to show you the demo how the message is going to look like and then i'll click on save and send test request and let's see how the message is going to appear so guys i have clicked on save and send test request and you can see i have received a new message on whatsapp let me show you and you can see the message is this weekly report summary target completed employee's name is this employee email is this number of tasks assigned is this and you can see the whole data is changed here of the body fields this, this is how it is going to work guys so we are done here completing this route okay so this is how you can create the route for target completion and similarly you can create the second route for target not completed for that you just clone this step also you can clone this route for that you just have to click here on this three dots then click on clone then click on clone again and you can see the route is cloned here okay now you can delete this route the third one and let me rename this uh, clone route and let me put here target not completed okay date and you have to change a few things in this route just click on the set filter and action steps and from this filter here you have to select the label same and make it uh, filter type you have to make the filter type as so you can see the target is not completed so in this condition uh, it will show you the positive results that means the result should be greater than zero okay right and you can remove this or condition this is not of any use now click on save and send test request and you can here you can see the condition is true now it is showing the condition is true because here you can see in the number formatter result is positive and actually the target is not completed here okay so you can see the condition shows showing true here and when the condition matches true what we want we want to send a different message and, and in this message what i'm going to change here the template will be same everything will be the same but here in this body field in place of completed i'm going to put not completed okay not completed so the thing that you put in the body fields manually like this are not going to change the labels that you are mapping are going to change but the thing uh, that you are putting manually is going to remain the same so whenever the target is not going to complete it this it will show not completed and the data will be changed accordingly okay so just click on save here and we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up this automation only once after that you don't have to do anything manually in this workflow after that 
you just have to wait for the day that you have selected which means saturday and you will receive the employees working summary automatically on whatsapp and guys if you want to use this workflow you can use it because i am going to paste the link in the description and you can clone this workflow in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly